Welcome to Homework Help with Jen, and we're in chapter 4 now, and I'm going to look at problem 41. And it reads like this. A solution is prepared by dissolving 0.5842 grams of oxalic acid, that's the oxalate ion, C2O42- with two protons on it, in enough water to make 100 milliliters of a solution. A 10 milliliter aliquot portion of this solution is then diluted to a final volume of 250 milliliters. What is the final molarity of the oxalic acid solution? So I have, as I've mentioned in class, sometimes it's very difficult to pull the problem out of these sentences. So I like to draw a picture or write down the important information. And I've done that down here. <clears throat> okay, where I said, okay, well, originally I took 0.5842 grams of oxalic acid in 100 milliliters. And then I took 10 milliliters of that and I added water to make 250 milliliters. Okay, and what I want to know is what is my final molarity? Okay, so there's a couple parts to this problem. We need to find our initial molarity before we can do our dilution chemistry. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find our molar mass, is find a molar mass and find out how many moles of oxalic acid we have. So we would start that with 0.584 two grams of oxalic acid and then I need a molar mass in order to find out how many moles of oxalic acid we have okay so I can come over here and I can say well I have two hydrogens Oops. times 1.008 all right and I have two carbons And I have four oxygens. And my result there is 90.03. Okay, so I have 90.03 grams per mole. Okay. So I would say 0.5842 divided by 90.03 and my answer, I can have four significant figures here. So my answer would be 0 0.00. Now those don't count for significant figures. Now I have four from here, six, four, eight, nine moles. Okay. Now from there, I'm going to divide this by my volume because molarity is moles per liter. Okay, so let's just go a little bit of a review here. We have 100 milliliters times one liter over 1,000 milliliters. So that's my equivalence factor. So this becomes 0.1, and I need, I have four sig, uh, four, three zeros. So liters, but I'm just going to leave that off in the calculation. So I have. 0.1 liters. So my initial molarity is 0 0.06489 molar. Okay, this is M1. Okay, so that was my first step. Okay, so let's take think about our second step now. Now, our second step is our dilution. And for the dilution equation, we do M1V1 equal to M2V2. Okay? And our initial molarity is 0 0.06489. And our initial volume, it's not this 100, that's from the, the original solution. This is how much we use. So that's our initial volume, 10 mil. Okay. And that's equal to, well, M2. That's what we don't have. We're looking for this final molarity. And we multiply that by our new volume, which is 250 milliliters. All right. So in order to get M2 all by itself, we divide both sides by 250. Okay. And that makes this term go away. 
and so M2 is equal to 0 0.06489 times 10 divided by 250. All right. So again, if I look through here, I can have four significant figures. That's what I have for everything. So it becomes 0 0.002596 molar. If you wanted to have that in scientific notation or if your calculator gives it in scientific notation, it would be 2.596 times 10 to the negative third molar.